Good morning, everybody. It's me, Kanye West. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode 144. Truly, last episode exceeded all expectations. We explored a little bit more. We found a lot of good things. The goal was to find ice, and we found even more than that. We found a brand new pet, which needs a name, so I'm going to have to do that, but ice. We found ice for a basalt generator. In today's episode, we're going to make a skeleton farm. Today's episode is all about skeleton farms. If you want to see me make a skeleton farm, leave a like on this video. Subscribe too. Ah, uh, yes, I'm excited for today. Finally, it is the day. We found spawners so long ago, and today, finally, finally, we put them to good use. A skeleton farm, too, that's pretty much the best spawner farm. Now, technically, this isn't the first skeleton farm of this world. Today, I figured to switch things up a little bit, keep them interesting, we're going to do something different. In this episode, we're going to build a completely different skeleton farm design. To be honest, I think the skeleton farm is a little bit better than the other one. Now, obviously, there are so many reasons we need the skeleton farm. Bones, of course, so we have bones and also bone meal, so we could actually farm these glowberries right here. That would be amazing. Experience, so we have renewable experience, so we can enchant more. This skeleton farm is a huge deal. This is going to be the most useful farm of this area over here, hands down, other than the food farm. So today we're going to use a completely different design. This design is even cheaper, even more affordable than ever before. To make this thing, you basically need a total of three things. First, uh, you're going to need a skeleton spawner. Uh, I swear I have one over here somewhere. Ah, there it is, there it is. I always lose it. Okay, I actually kind of miscounted. You need like five things, maybe. There are some optional things too, but like five things. The first important thing, a skeleton spawner. You will absolutely need to find a skeleton spawner in your world to make one of these things. Uh, let's see, what do we have? We have so much gun... This is, looks glitched. It honestly looks glitched. That's crazy. So like so much gunpowder and so much more gunpowder. Cool. That stuff is good. We're gonna have to move this out of the way. I hear mobs are already off the bat, which is a terrible terrible sign <laughs> uh, this is not good um maybe i'll block that off really quick we don't need anything coming in here that should do that should do good much better so there are a couple things that you're gonna need to get before you can actually set this farm up these things are so easy to get you'll need one fence any type of fence is good you'll need one soul sand that's why we went to the nether you will need four signs about i think four is the number you're gonna need water sources and that's basically it. Building blocks too. But I mean, you'll get building blocks from digging this thing out. It's cheaper than ever before. Kelp might also be a nice thing to have. Also hoppers, depending on how you want to do item collection. But that's basically it. All right. So we've set up so many spawner farms in this world so far. It all starts the same every single time. We're going to want to start by clearing out a room. This room is going to be four blocks out from the spawner in every single direction. Once we get this entire space cleared out, this is going to put the spawner in the center of a nine by nine room. All spawner farms, basically, other than spider ones, are always the same. Kind of. N not really. <laughs> no, 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 not at all, actually. Basic skeleton spawner farms, though? Yeah, yeah, those are definitely usually basically the same thing. Now, one thing that you definitely don't want to forget to do, uh, slab on top of the spawner. We're gonna go with stone bricks this time, right on top of that thing, and then to make everything symmetrical, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that out right now. I'll pull one below the spawner, too. It looks good. Torches. We're gonna basically need to go crazy in here to stop the skeletons from spawning, so I'm gonna put torches all over this thing, and then silk touch. I have a silk touch pickaxe now. It feels so good. I'm gonna silk touch as much of the stone as possible, but the cobblestone? No way. I'm not going to waste the soap touch pickaxe on that. I'm just going to keep using this iron pickaxe for a little while. Uh, it's probably going to break eventually, and then I'll just use the soap touch one. But yeah, the soap touch deserves so much better. We don't need to soap touch the cobblestone, but everything else for now will soak touch. I'll fortune the coal later. I'll fortune the copper later, and I'll come back and get the iron later too, and fortune that stuff too. Fortune is amazing. So my plans for the spawner farm are actually pretty big this time around. This skeleton farm is a huge deal. Skeleton spawner farms are my favorite spawner farms, and this is the only one over here. Uh, at least right now and it will be probably for a while i've decided that all of the other farms that we have in this world are basically going to be off limits from this point on even once i have full netherite uh, almost every other farm in this world is off limits we can't use it now that doesn't go for necessarily everything maybe some farms are allowed like the piglin farm maybe uh the gold farm definitely but things like old spawner farms, off limits. If I want to farm bones, I need to make a new skeleton farm. If I want to farm zombies, new zombie farm. Real quick, the room is dug out now. It's a 9x9 nine nine room, four blocks out from the spawner on every single side. Now we need to dig down below the spawner. We're going to want to go four blocks down below the spawner this time. So that's one, that's two, that's three. And then there's going to be one more. So that's four right there. And then above the spawner, we're actually looking really, really good. This is perfect. The room is three blocks tall like that, uh, counting the block right there. That is perfect. Four blocks below the spawner, though, so the skeletons have room to spawn, and then fall away from the spawner a little bit. We'll pick them up with water, send them off to one side of the room. 
now we need to dig again but yeah as of today i've decided to make a new rule old farms are off limits in this world unless they're like insanely grindy farms and really big farms if there is an exception i will let you know but this even includes the iron farm the beautiful iron fog cave farm that we set up at the old base completely off limits by banning pretty much every farm in the world it's gonna make things a little bit more tricky but at the same time i don't mind also i miss the jungle base i truly and sincerely do but to be honest i can't really see myself going back there like ever again other than for visiting if you asked me this question even two weeks ago it would have been a completely different answer i still planned on actually going back to the jungle base and finishing things over at the jungle base but now at least today uh right now at this point in the game i'm kind of done with the jungle base like done done with the jungle base we're not going back and to be honest i, I don't know even though we're already starting to get a lot of the stuff back it feels weird to just go back to the jungle and have everything there so yeah goodbye jungle but we'll be back there like we'll go back there at some point to see it uh probably at a tour or something maybe even link the two bases up we'll see it but the farms over there are basically outlawed to be honest i don't know if this includes the items though <laughs> i can't decide on that one uh maybe the items are banned maybe they're not i guess we'll have to wait and see i finished digging the room this is what it ended up looking like nine by nine room it's pretty tall now spawner floating in the middle and torches all over the place now if you want to make your spawner room look good uh this is definitely the step like this is the time if you haven't heard there's a brand new oh there's the cave there's the cave it has been so annoying here's the cave there's been mobs in it like the whole time wait 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 wait, 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 wait. how does it do so much damage to me how does it it's because i have like no armor and how do you guys have blocks too like huh oh no oh no oh no a skeleton in a ravine oh this is huge this is huge maybe we can find diamonds finally goodbye skeleton get what you deserve okay this is kind of a sweet find this is really really cool oh and it's connected to the surface it's nighttime oh that's even better that means i can completely just block this off light it up that's perfect i had a feeling there are so many caves around here that i never finished uh, like lighting up or anything we'll have to come back at some point to light these things up when we start making other mob farms that's good to know so anyways i was saying if you haven't heard yet there's a new block and this block is amazing it's called tinted glass tinted glass is perfect for mob farms in the sky spawner farms like literally any type of mob farm because you can see into the farm and not let any light into the farm so the farm isn't affected it's amazing it's absolutely amazing i definitely want to see into this farm so i have to care about how it's gonna look i think i'm gonna do a pretty basic design here uh, i'm thinking mossy cobblestone cobblestone on the floor will basically just take these blocks and move them down uh on the wall i'm definitely thinking maybe like stone bricks or something just keep it pretty simple maybe i'll smelt some up and make them cracked actually no yeah i think i'll definitely smelt some of them up maybe not a bunch but at least some of them i'll smelt some of them up and then the ceiling i have no clue what i'm gonna do with the ceiling but i'm gonna do something with the ceiling i'm gonna make it look a little bit better than what it is right now even if it's just all stone which it is uh that's better than nothing for now i'll fill the entire wall with stone bricks and cracked stone bricks and then once i'm done with the farm once i'm actually designing the grinding room uh, i'll come back and put windows in with tinted glass and it's going to look amazing it's gonna look so good I love tinted glass and i'm so excited to actually finally get to use this stuff best thing ever quite possibly to be entirely honest it's very possible that tinted glass is one of the best things in the entire game it's so amazing it's such a simple vibe like so simple but i don't think it can be matched like i will never get tired of this combination stone brick with the mossy cobblestone cobblestone floor like it's perfect for a spawner room it's literally perfect so here we go nine by nine room spawner in the middle it's tall it's deep now it's time for the new part so usually what we would do is pick one side of the room and dig a trench that is one block deep that's great and all but it's a little bit flawed with this trench being one block deep sometimes the skeletons or the zombies whatever we're farming will actually try and jump back up it's annoying it can clog the farm up a little bit to make it a little bit better instead of one block deep we're gonna dig two blocks deep and look at that the wall already continues all the way down i planned for it it's perfect so two block deep trench right there we're actually gonna make it a little bit deeper over there because of how water works but yeah two blocks deep to start now which side doesn't really matter you're gonna want to pick the side that's closest to your base probably uh the skeletons are gonna spawn in here and then they're gonna drop down and i'm gonna move them this way the castle base grim it's right over that way it's a little bit of a ways but still if i can move them closer to it that's a good thing we pick a side of the room the side doesn't matter two blocks deep along the whole side of the room so that side right there the floor is solid looking the wall goes straight down where we need it to everything looks good 
I'm practically loaded now. 18 blocks of coal ore, 18 blocks of iron ore, and 7 blocks of copper. I need to step it up in the copper, but like, that's a lot of iron. I'm gonna fortune that. So check this out, gamers, you know. Minecraft, water, it flows 8 blocks. If we put water right there, that's gonna end it right here. That's too short, not good. To fix it, easy. All we need to do is dig a little bit lower on the end of the trench, you know this. We're gonna start right here on this block and dig one there, uh, dig one there, and then we're actually gonna dig into the wall a little bit and dig one more right there. So we have three blocks down right there, then this is gonna end up being seven blocks. If I put water back right there, it's gonna go down, it's gonna dip down, that's perfect. That's exactly what we need. Now, the elevator. On some of my other designs, I use ice. Ice is good and it does work. It's the second best option, but honestly, the new way, probably the best way, is gonna be a fence. So we're gonna dig one block down in the trench at the end of the thing and place a fence down. The type of fence doesn't matter at all, but a fence. It's getting a little dark in here, so we'll light it up. After that, what we're gonna do is actually start digging our elevator. So the elevator is gonna sit right in here. It's gonna go all the way up to raise the skeletons up, then it's gonna move over a little bit, drop them down, take them down to a one hit. It's gonna be insanely easy to use. However, this elevator. So we put a fence in the ground on the trench right there. Then we're going to put a soul sand block right there. Now, once we have water in here, check this out. Just like the other no brain small muscles that we've seen, I'm now a skeleton. The skeleton is going to go down the water trench like this and then actually hit the fence right there that's buried and pop up a little bit. If it keeps moving, look at this. I actually bounce up on my own onto the soul sand, which is perfect. That means it's going to work flawlessly for a skeleton. All we need to do is set up a water funnel type thing over there to actually pull the skeletons into the elevator and then it will literally be perfect. So right now it's sign time. We're going to need three of our four signs. We're going to put one right there. We're going to put one right there. And then right above it, we're going to put one final sign. Now these blocks are going to stay like this forever and I'm going to see into this room. So I'm going to change them actually. I think I'm going to do the wall blocks right here. It's simple. It's effective. It'll look good. Uh, but then we'll put the signs back right on top of there. So three right there lining that. That's actually going to hold water back inside of this elevator. But we're going to set up another trick inside of the elevator to, to actually pull the skeletons into the elevator. See the normal design that I came up with and the design that I've been using ever since 1.13 when water was changed is good but honestly i think this one is going to be a little bit better so we're gonna have the floor go all the way down with cobblestone it looks good in here i kind of can't decide if it should be cobblestone or stone bricks i mean i have stone bricks so that's that Oh yeah, and we can pick this water up for now. We don't really need it. I was just putting it down so I could show you what's going to work. But anyways, the final dimensions of this trench are going to be two blocks deep at the start. Uh, we're going to start in this corner. That's going to go seven blocks. And we're going to dip down three more blocks on the third one. It's a fence. And then right up above that, soul sand right there. Three signs right there. Then the elevator. So the elevator. This is the big part of the farm. And to be honest, I don't know how I always forget this. But this is the part of the build that I always mess up. And I always like completely forget. So right now, we're on 49. We're going to want to set up a skeleton room straight out from this elevator spot right there. Uh, somewhere over here. I'm not really sure how I'm going to actually set up the room, but it's going to go like somewhere over here. For now, we'll just dig that all out. Um... Let's see, we want to keep this close here. Uh, like three or four blocks is probably good. Let's see, uh, right now we have the wall being right there, which would be one, two, three. Okay, so what I'm doing here is trying to figure out where I want to actually drop my skeletons. To keep it easy, we're gonna keep it in line with the elevator. You could try and do a turn. Turns work, they're nice and all, but to keep it easy right here. We need the Y coordinate of this block right here, which is Y51. Then we need to take that number and add 21 to that. So that's gonna bring it to 72. Y72 is what we're going to need to make our elevator go all the way up to. Now, this elevator is actually going to be pretty easy to build. For now, we're going to plug that back up, by the way. Actually, I just realized something. This new design takes up more space. We're going to move this. Okay, so to make it easy, I'm going to keep it on the same exact spot, but I'm going to space that out a couple more blocks. We're still on Y51 right here, which doesn't change anything. I just moved it a couple more blocks out from that spot. It's going to make it work a little bit better because we're going to need like three blocks of space, two blocks of space behind the elevator. Anyways, the elevator. We need to get this elevator all the way up to Y72. Then we're going to move it over to that spot and drop the mobs back down. So to get it all the way up to Y72, you can do a couple different things. I recommend doing it like this though. Place the water in the elevator, swim up to the top of the elevator, dig a block out so you can breathe, and kind of just repeat the process over and over and over again. Now it's going to help huge time if you have an efficiency pickaxe, it will make your life so much better. Maybe even like aqua affinity, that might help a little bit. But uh, eventually you won't be able to reach, so just grab the water if you're quick. Uh, you can put it a little bit higher and you can kind of like repeat that process over and over and over again you have to be quick though uh very quick and be careful once you get higher up uh you don't want to fall and take damage so yeah maybe not the best idea but a possibility certainly definitely a possibility now i can't decide on this one right here i i mean i maybe why not we might as well 
make the whole elevator look good too. I really can't decide. I never know if this is just like too much. Like, will I ever actually see this? Uh, debatable. I might though. So I guess you never know. Uh, we're going to try and make the elevator look good too, which is unfortunately going to require a little bit more work, but it's okay. I have the materials. All that we're going to do inside of the elevator to make it look better is change the walls, all of the walls on this thing, uh, over the stone brick. Stone brick on the walls is going to make it look really good, I think. Good for the skeletons, I guess. This is the last thing they'll be seeing in their sad life, so... Uh, at least it could look good. Stone bricks all the way up. Possibly a better way to do this elevator, instead of trying to grab the water source out and not fall down and uh, repeat it over and over and over again, is to just get multiple water sources. If you have more than one water bucket or even just one water bucket and you go make multiple trips, uh, doing it kind of like this is going to make your life so much easier. Uh, and so much safer, to be honest, too. So I have to address it. There is an elephant in the room in this episode. Grimstone, Deep Slate, why am I not using Deep Slate? It would be perfect. If I'm talking about things looking good, Deep Slate is quite simply the way to go. Yes, that is true. But I'm banned from using it again. I used it a couple episodes back, and I saw so many comments about it, so don't worry. I've banned myself from using Grimstone again for at least a couple more episodes, maybe one episode, so that would be like today, after today, maybe I could use it again. I'm not too sure. Long story short, I am banned from using the block again. It's so perfect, and it, it would have been amazing but I can't use it. I've used it so many times. So 100% here, without a doubt, this is going to break the surface. No, I thought it would maybe be that block, but 100%, this elevator is going to go up on the surface, which actually is the exact reason, I didn't even realize it, but the exact reason why I definitely should make this elevator look good, because if it's gonna go up onto the surface, I could actually build the elevator, at least partially, uh, out of the tinted glass too, and then I could see into the elevator too. Oh, right here, this is the big block. This is finally it, right here. It's gonna go onto the surface a little bit, and it's gonna be good looking. Let's see, we have to be like in the middle of the spruce forest somewhere. I think I dumped the water on, <laughs> yeah, that's my bad, that's my bad. It's actually on the land. Just like I thought, on the ground in the spruce forest right here, there are mobs all over the place because I haven't been sleeping, so we're gonna have to watch out for those. But there we go, up on the surface, uh, 69, 70. So we need to go like two more blocks up. It's gonna go just past the trees a little bit here. I'm gonna have to clear out some of these trees. They're definitely gonna be in the way, but it breaks the surface, that's perfect. Maybe we can incorporate that into the build, like a build around the tunnel, kind of hide the tunnel somehow. Then maybe the spawner room, just throwing out ideas here. Maybe the spawner room is in like the basement of some kind of haunted house or something, maybe? Haunted cabin in a graveyard. Uh, I don't know. I'm just throwing out ideas here. Don't get caught on any of them. I might not do any of that, but something. Some kind of build up on the surface. Definitely the mark this build for sure. I wonder if maybe... Uh, oh, we can. We can. I was going to say if we need a tower to see our base. We're so close. We could easily set up a building on the surface. Road cutting right over here through the forest. Make the forest look a little bit better. Oh, it's perfect. It's going to work. It's going to work exactly. That's amazing. I'm so excited about this. Like, genuinely, this is amazing. This is such a good moment. I think this spot right here, yes, one block higher than the elevator needs to be, which is perfect. There is one small problem that I, I just am now realizing. Uh, we're gonna have to go back down. I don't know how far the elevator actually needs to go back over. I don't have the coordinates of the block, but 72. This is basically going to be the spot. For now, we'll dump water right there so we can get up and down. That's gonna take out all the torches, but look at the walls. They look amazing. That's perfect. That should be 21 uh, blocks. Not 21 from this spot, but 21 from where they're going to land. Okay, so uh, where do they land? They land over here on this block. Negative 787, 1316. Straight up. Negative 787, 1316. Negative 787, which is this block right here. 1316, which is also this block right here. That's perfect. It's so simple. It's flawless. So what we're going to do for now is build this out of stone bricks. Maybe we come back and put tinted glass here. I think that would look so much better. But this is the block that we need to move them over to and drop them down. What we're going to want to do is take our last sign and place it on that block right there so the water doesn't flow. You could use like a fence gate or something like that too. That would work. And then we're going to need to build walls around this thing so the skeletons actually don't like burn up up here. Or not even really burn up, but like fly up here and then either get shot out of the elevator, land somewhere else, or just jump out of the water. That would be a big problem. I recommend making your walls on this thing at least uh, three blocks tall. So that's one, two, three like that. Then I could put the ceiling right here. You can go taller if you want. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it at this. I think this is going to be perfect. Fill this in all the way. Jump inside. It gets dark. That's perfect. Now, before we finish off the elevator and the falling area, we're going to finish it up down here. So, so far, this is a really good foolproof setup. But there is one more problem that could happen. So we have the water right here eventually. I'm a skeleton again. I go down here. I fall onto the fence. I bump up like this. And then I'm going to lift up a little bit more. 
and then I stop. That's a problem. We want the skeletons to be pulled into the elevator. To fix that problem, insanely simple. All we need to do is dig that block out, dig this block out, dig that block out, and that block too. Then what we're going to do is put walls on the other side so the water doesn't just spill into the room. But right here, we're going to have water actually flowing down into this spot right here, except we don't. And that's because we need water sources. This is like the most annoying part of the build, but... We need to turn all of these spots right here into actual water sources, uh, like solid. There is an easy way to do this, but I don't really have the thing. Kelp. I need kelp. And unfortunately, I don't think I have a single piece of kelp back over at Grim, which means we need to go back to the ocean. I completely forgot it last episode. Good news, though. I found an ocean last episode. The ocean was right over this way somewhere. Eventually, there should be a mountain. Next to the mountain, there should be an ocean, which is perfect. I just need a little bit of kelp. Technically, I think literally 21 would do but ocean sweet ocean this is exactly it i'm just gonna take down a bunch of these plants in here uh, and get more than 21 kelp just to be safe we're gonna use kelp to create water sources the easy way if i had bone meal which soon then i would only need one to get this started but the ocean has so much kelp so uh speaking of kelp uh surprising thing actually kelp is something that we haven't had a single farm set up for in this world i don't have a single kelp farm in the entire world which is exactly why i'm okay with banning the farms and staying in this world because there's still so much that we need to set up so uh anyways the kelp kelp gets planted on the soul soil right there soul sand and it needs to be planted all the way up to the surface by putting kelp in here we're actually going to activate this bubble column kelp is actually amazing because it turns the flowing water blocks which is what we just had into water sources kelp is also amazing because while it's on soul sand it actually won't let the bubble column Column activate so we can leave the kelp there and get back down this way uh jump outside of this thing get rid of the kelp and then the column actually activates if we were to throw something in here to test it or just look at it uh we can see the bubbles which means it works the big thing here though to make this thing fully finished and working is dig out three blocks uh, behind the elevator so the water flows backwards and now that we have water sources in here guaranteed 100 the water is flowing into those spaces right back there and i think maybe i'll test it once we're in the room uh, in a second but with that extra block dug down right there we might be able to remove the wall now we're not going to want to do that because the skeletons would see us and shoot at us which would definitely be bad so this is basically finished we can actually use this bubble column now and go all the way up to the surface and then just dig straight down now we have to be careful uh if there's lava anywhere over here that would be really really bad but i doubt that there's any lava lava doubt it now same thing i'm gonna actually care about how this looks which is gonna make this process be a little bit longer here i'm gonna replace all of the sides with stone bricks all the way down to i think later what i might end up doing is uh, i come back in here and put some glass on the elevator i don't think we're gonna do it today but it's what i might end up doing but once i finish digging this thing all the way down i should if i've lined everything up correctly counted all the blocks got the right coordinates i should land right on that block that i wanted the skeletons to land on which means we're basically done with the farm but clearly we're not done with the farm you're probably thinking to yourself at this point this episode is getting long like what are you doing you're talking so much how are you actually going to finish the farm today haha -ha, well <laughs> well 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 that's the thing ah that's the thing i was actually planning on trying to finish the farm it worked perfectly by the way initial plan was to try and finish the entire farm build and all in today's episode but i don't think i have enough time to do it i i don't think i can do it and also i have cool ideas for this farm but at the same time i'm still not decided i don't know 100 percent for sure what i want to do with this build and so that gets us to this spot right here where we want to actually farm the skeletons so i'm going to drop them onto this singular block for now I might actually modify this and make this uh, a two block wide platform three blocks long with hoppers going into a chest i think that could be good we're going to probably end up using this farm a lot but for today like i said it's going to be a one block platform now we're farming skeletons skeletons are really really easy to control because they're all two blocks tall if we had baby zombies in here we would need to consider that and put slabs in here but this is a, literally a skeleton farm so no baby zombies at all which means uh, all that we need to do here is leave one block of space, land them on that block right there, and we should be perfect. The skeleton should now absolutely be brought down to one hit with a sword, maybe even, if everything is perfect, one hit with my hand too. Now, uh, by the way, the elevator, right in there, uh-huh, uh-huh, exactly what I thought. I can actually leave it like that, except I can't. The skeletons would shoot at me, but I could. That's perfect. This is what the water should look like on the other side, though. It's kind of hard to see through the bubble column to see it. But yeah, we have the water sources all flowing down into that block right there. That should help pull the skeletons into the elevator. On this side of the farm, though, aside from this thing, uh, it's your room. You, you set it up however you want. Dig a staircase up to the surface, a ladder, a bubble column, whatever you want to do. Uh, for now, what I think I'm going to try and do is find the cave system. So uh, it definitely should be really close to here. 
I think if we were to make a staircase right here, uh, we should hit the, hit the cave system, I think. Eventually. Should work. Hopefully. Definitely should work here. Any minute here. All right, well, fine. Uh, that's the way in and out for now. I don't know how I missed the cave, but that's good. We'll change that next episode. There it is. There it is. I went up right past it, so I, I was determined. I needed to find the cave system right here. I just went up right past it. Uh, staircase would be like, yeah, literally right there, and I just barely missed it. But not anymore. All right, so we're basically good. We're pretty much done with this farm. There are like two things that we have to do. Uh, for one of these things, definitely gonna wanna have armor, so, oh no. I swear I needed a chest plate. Definitely need a new piece of armor. Okay, so I have the skeleton landing spot all closed up over there. That's very important for this next step. Now we're gonna wanna move back into this room, open this water up. If you don't have a water source right there, place it right there, so that should flow all the way into the elevator. Should end up looking like that. If it doesn't, you might have a problem. Now, the rest of the room. We need a water source right there. And then we need water sources along the rest of the back of the room. We could actually take this one out real quick, borrow it to make more water sources. Perfect infinite water. Uh, we have water all the way along the back wall right there. Now we need a way out, which is going to be right here. We're going to just walk over that. Fix this spot up right here. I have no clue how I missed that one. And now it's torch time. This is the most dangerous step. Because this is a skeleton spawner, skeletons will start spawning eventually and shooting at us, which is going to be absolutely great. But if we're quick, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, just go to the water. Okay, okay, we just need to get all of the torches out. I think that's basically it. I think that's basically it. That was so easy. Come on, skeletons, come on. That went insanely well, actually. I feel like I always think it's going to go worse than it actually does. And so finally, the big test. These skeletons. With the hand, two hits. So we could probably lower that one more, but with a sword... One hit. Oh, one hit right there. Looting three sword with mending, and this is going to be perfect. We'll have so many bones. That's it. That's the entire skeleton farm design. Now, while you're inside of this room, skeletons will lock onto you, which might make them avoid the elevator a little bit. And if you look at the elevator every once in a while, you might find skeletons clogging it up a little bit, being slow. If you set this thing up with tinted glass, like we're gonna do in the next episode, you should see skeletons being way more consistently pulled right into the elevator, moved up, and dropped over into the chamber. If you could get a looting three sword with this thing, you'll have so many bones, like way more than you would ever need. And bows and arrows, actually. I completely forgot about those. Those come from this thing, too. Episode 144's comment of the day is all about the glowberry vines uh, that I've been having a lot of trouble with. The comment was about bees and glowberries. It had a couple thumbs up and some replies, which I thought was really interesting. So it's not like an isolated experience. Uh, basically, to sum it up, uh, when a bee flew by this person's glowberry vine, uh, it pollinated it, and the glowberry grew which is really interesting. So now that we have bone meal, we should be able to actually grow glowberries like manually, which is great and all, but I thought these things would grow automatically. And I don't know, maybe I'm not like being patient enough, but it seems like kind of bugged to me. Like no glowberries are growing like at all. I have to like manually do it here, which seems weird. Like that's definitely not how it's meant to work. Maybe I'm misunderstanding something or missing something completely, but yeah, maybe bees are the secret. I mean, I'm not too sure. I haven't really messed with this stuff in survival. Like this is the first time, but bees maybe? I mean, maybe it's that? I don't know. Or maybe I need to, like, make more space for them for them to actually grow. The bamboo is ready, by the way. I, I don't know. Glowberries are so weird. I need to figure that out uh, before I actually set up a farm for them. Because it's so weird. Like, I just don't get it. I, I don't get it. Anyways, thank you all for watching episode 144 of the Minecraft Guide. Leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. New Skeleton Farm, that's exactly how it's done. The old one works too. In the next episode, we'll be back over there working at it. Look at this thing. You can actually see it from the top of the castle. The views up on top of this thing, amazing. Truly amazing. It's perfect. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.